Hello and welcome, my beautiful Scorpio. Brenda Taro here with your general uh, weekly forecast for November the 6th to the 12th. I'll be using Oracle and Tarot cards. So let's see what we've got here for you for the week of November 6th. Let's see what we have here for my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Let's see what we have here for you. All right. Coming in with your first card, you have the King of Swords, taking wise counselor, giving it, could be retaining a legal eagle. Um, the Queen of Cups, nurturing yourself, but you need to realize that everybody you're helping is okay, but you need to take care of your needs as well. Um, you've got beautiful success after hard work and struggle. You're going to see uh, your efforts being uh, rewarded. And you've got the queen. Her counterpart was the king in the beginning and the queen of swords. You're making some major changes to let go of things and move forward in a positive direction. Let's see what we have coming in with these cards. Let's see what we have coming in with these cards, my beautiful Scorpio. Hope everybody had a wonderful Halloween and a great weekend. Uh, winter's quickly coming upon most of us here where we live in North America and um, yeah things are cooling down trees are losing their leaves we've had a wonderful show for autumn here where I live in Canada outside of Toronto it's been amazing but we're definitely getting cold and the areas around us have had snow coming in with the king of swords you're taking a time out with the four of swords coming in with the queen of cups you're picking your battles wisely coming in with the six of wands mm, you're on a journey to find something new uh, and coming in with the queen of swords you've got the knight of pentacles taking your time getting through a situation and and the page of cups comes in with the beautiful magician wow having the resources to go after something you want and it could be it could be love with the page of cups so let's see what we have here whoops too many cards is what we have one card please spirit and guides one card what is a general download message for my beautiful scorpios today what do they need to see know and expect whoops there we go collaboration Okay, getting together with others. Let's see what your your energy card is. Well, it flipped over. We're going to take it. Openness. Oh, that's come up for someone else too. Okay, so being open to new things coming in. Okay, starting off, we have the beautiful card of collaboration. So I think what's happening here is you're definitely going to be getting together with other people here. Uh, it's time for you to meet up. Um, maybe you're going to be having some, um, some meetings and you're going to be getting together. It could be business meetings. It could be conventions. It could be closed door conversations in the boardroom. However, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, I'm really sorry about that, Scorpio. I just, you know, when you do a sneeze and a cough, it comes so quickly, you can't even stop it. So anyway, um, you could be um, getting together for, with somebody here to put your heads together to decide something. Now, I think if I read um, your, your, I think I read somewhere or I, you know, did another reading Scorpio where you were definitely getting together with people anyway. Um, this could be for business. You could be collaborating. You could be coaching. You could be taking um, maybe uh, some counsel yourself, but you're definitely going to be getting together with other people or another person because you know what they say, two heads are better than one. So you could be thinking about wanting to create a team or join a team of people where you can put your ideas together. You have the same goals, the same aspirations. It's the same excitement to go after something. So I take this as a really good card. So getting together with other people for good reason. Now, you've got the card openness. So you may be having to feel that this is a time for you uh, to be a little more open-minded. There could be something new coming in, right? You're going through a new cycle. I mean, here's the full moon. This is all about going through cycles, right? So, you, you know, maybe you need to be open to receiving some signs here. And just take your time to think about them. Be still and watch for them. Don't do anything. Just be open. Breathe and relax completely and thoroughly. You might incubate your dreams for the future right now and put them on hold. If you're trying to make a decision, take the time to watch for these signs and listen. Okay, listen to these signs coming in. This is all about observing life as it unfolds rather than becoming engaged in it. So be open to what the universe has in store for you, Scorpio. 
be receptive to messages from your soul. Um, you know, miracles can show up, my friends, in the most unexpected ways. So, um, you know, maybe collaborating with someone here is definitely going to open some doors of opportunity for you that you might have to, you never had thought that you might do. Okay, so this could be the openness where you're, you're being more open-minded to change, to differences, to new things. Coming in in your first row, Scorpio, you do have, as I had said, the King of Swords with the Four of Swords. So there might have been some sort of a struggle here. There could have been a legal situation or something to do with the judicial, uh, a judicial or a judgment issue. But this is about you taking wise counsel as well. You could be uh, seeking out the help of somebody who can guide you through something, a uh, legal action. And it doesn't need to be a major infraction or something that important. For some of you, it could be. And it's depleted your energy. This is the Four of Swords it says take a time out call a truce slow down you need to feel safe close the door get in your safe haven and just breathe in and breathe out you could be you know seeking some wise counsel from a very you know the wisdom of a lawyer or government or military of some sort there you, you could be seeking the counsel from somebody about an issue that you know that they're they are they have the wisdom to impart to you okay and you can trust it but i think in the meantime if you've been dealing with some stress that has to do with the judicial issue it's time for you just to pull back okay don't get caught up in the heat of the moment don't keep fighting this issue you need time to recharge and rejuvenate coming in next is that beautiful queen of cups nurturing yourself always wanting to give to everybody but you might find that you're having to push yourself too hard the five of of wands is often the card of competition you know feeling as though you have you're, you're constantly batting your head against the wall having to struggle to keep up this is a card that says you can pick your battles wisely and i think now you're going to take a time out here's the time out the queen of cups she's beautiful loving nurturing the mother figure wanting to help everybody and nurture everybody but there comes a time where you can only spread yourself so thin and you might be struggling with that you might be finding that you're taking on too much too many people are are you know are expecting too much from you at this time and it's time for you to nurture yourself take that time to do that okay you need to recharge and rejuvenate here both with the four of swords struggling with something and with this queen she realizes that she needs to take herself to a place of peace and harmony to regain her strength again to move forward to handle these struggles the six of wands in the center position excellent card along with the hermit yes you're on a new journey definitely and it could be a spiritual one you're, you're now going to see light at the end of your path and you have taken the guy the wise guidance from someone and you know that has helped you to get through this these stressful times and actually taught you how you can help other people the six of wands says all that hard work you've been putting yourself into or in, and, and exerting and you know your blood sweat and tears and applying to something um, investing your time into something is now starting to bring you rewards starting to uh, you know you're getting the return for your hard work beautiful victory after hard work and struggle some of you could be gaining more clients you could be your businesses could be getting busier you could be getting more appointments um you could be um you know meeting with more people um they just showed me a zoom meeting so maybe some of you are going to be booking a zoom meeting to get together with people to do something in a collaborative effort now um this is a card that says you're getting almost public recognition so if you're out there doing something on the internet and you're international know that you're going to start seeing the return coming in for your hard work and the love that you love to do th that you do this work the hermit says you know you you've had to take your time out here to think about what it is you truly want to do and you might have been leaning into other mentors coaches guides of some sort and now you've learned something some of you might have even been learning something where you can go out and coach and help other people as well again i've seen this in the past with you scorpio adding something to that resume to escalate you up and build more business the queen of swords the counterpart here to our king she's learned from her lessons she's not she's not going to rush in and do anything too quickly but she's putting her foot down the knight of pentacles is slow okay planning a detailed plan going after what you want to do not rushing in you may have had to think about something for a long time my beautiful scorpios and you finally have decided to let it go um turn your back on it shut the door final okay this is closure for some of you whether you walked away from an unfulfilling job or the way things you've been doing uh haven't worked out you're tweaking them and changing them whether you've left a relationship a friendship a lover whatever the case is whatever's held you back 
and distracted you from going after your goals gung-ho this is you letting go um you you're capable and and able to do this all by yourself okay she's solo she's referred to as the widow or the divorcee she doesn't take uh, I mean, I call him her counterpart because she's learned from him. But she, this is you leaving and doing something on your own and making that command decision no matter what. You've made your mind up. You're taking your time. You're planning your move. But you're definitely going on a new journey here. And you've left other things behind. Now, sometimes the Queen of Swords can just be very indicative of cleaning house, cleaning closets, cleaning the garage, the basement, whatever. Getting rid of things that, you know, are cluttering up your space. You could be clearing out space to do business at home. You could be, you know, uh, getting rid of things and giving it to goodwill. Whatever the case is. But she's on a new journey. And by changing those things that have cluttered up her life and held her down, down, she's able now to have a clear sight and go after her goals the final card coming in is the magician along with the page of cups and the the, the magician you know is the card that says the universe the powers that be are saying hey you've got everything right here right in front of your nose all you have to do is go after it create your dreams you're manifesting what it is you want now this is a brand new beautiful fresh start for you the page of cups comes in and could be a useful aspect coming into here a new idea a new person maybe a relationship with someone who looks younger acts younger is younger um, and they may be wanting to take this relationship from friendship to a to a much bigger um, you know step in a relationship don't be concerned about other people's opinions my beautiful Scorpio generally you don't um, but this is about you enjoying a, a situation here the page of cups brings a really useful interesting and loving aspect into the equation this could be you know uh, they may be coming in here helping you manifest your goals with time effort or support to support your goals and your aspirations and your beautiful uh, your beautiful uh, you know um, exciting new path that you're walking on just stay open i think you're collaborating you've realized now you need to take a time out from all the hassle you've been going through you're going to find it'll make you so much happier here you you now can see a clear sight line you're nurturing yourself and the reason you're able to do this now is because you've let things go you've realized that you know what i'm done with this i'm moving on and it's taking you time you're moving slowly but that's just fine and now you're free to create the magic that you truly want well i wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here my beautiful scorpios always know i send you lots of love and many blessings and i'll see you soon my beautiful scorpios